minority in parliament have been debunking claims by President Ekofuado that he, uh, the government has constructed over 10,000 kilometers new roads. Kwame Agboja is ranking member on the Roads and Highways Committee. Uh, he's addressing the press. Let's take you to parliament right now. However, in April, or how do you call it, February, March 2022, the government has gone to co complete 6,000 kilometers out of the 5,000. Does it make sense to you? I'm happy that some of your organizations have uh, uh, fact-checked them. Ignore my chairman totally. He hasn't got any data. In fact, if anybody has got data on completed projects in this country, who do you think will have that data? The road minister. The road minister doesn't have that data. So ignore what my chairman is saying. In fact, he went and took a portion of the, the, the media press, which suggested that there are 4,800 kilometers of road under construction and, uh, uh, by, by the Cocoa Road, which is a fact. But we are talking about the emphatic statement, we have completed 10,800 kilometers. My brothers and sisters, I'm grateful to you. Some of you have already disregarded the president's comment. It's a slip. He should come out and say that what I meant was that we are talking about reshaping and everything which added. But in any case, if you do reshaping and other things, is that an achievement? Is that completed? It is not. So I'm here telling you that I want to thank some of the, your media houses who have done the fact checking. But let it be, remain. The presidency, the Ministry of Road and uh, Highways, the, the, the majority side of the uh, Committee on Road and Return does not have data to back 10,800 kilometers. If they give you the data, show it to me. They don't have the data to, uh, to back it. They do not have uh, that uh, information uh, to, uh, to tell you. Have you got any questions? I didn't want you to just leave me also to go just like the way you left him to go. Ask the, uh, the question. So, so, yeah. so he's saying that mm -hmm. the reason the minister did not add, uh, did not add the figures yeah. that summed up what the president said yesterday is because the ministry always at every point in time wants to be very sure. So, Governor Kwame Agboja, he's ranking member on the Roads and Highways Committee of Parliament, and he's been debunking claims by President Ekofado that um, they've constructed over 10,000 kilometers of new roads. Uh, we're trying to get a response from the majority in Parliament to this. Uh, we can listen to Kwame Agboja. Awarded 6,000 kilometers of road. They are not projects that have been completed. Let's stick to the point. What we are talking about is the president saying emphatically, I have completed 10,800 kilometers of new roads. The questions you ask the media, the questions you have asked in the, in the uh, even professionals, has we completed 10,800 kilometers? The answer is emphatic, no. So this data is clear. The 11,111 kilometers the, the, the minister promised during this meet the press, and said they will complete 6,000 by the end of their term. How come a proposal to complete 6,000 kilometers by the end of uh, their, their term metamorphosed into 10,800 kilometers of road completed? My brothers, somebody said maybe the use of the word uh, lie is not uh, distant. But I would advise the government and my good friend, the respected uh, chairman, what you have done is to rather make the work of the president more difficult because you haven't provided any data. The truth is that Cocoa Board have got, in fact, let me tell you why, another reason why you can tell my chairman he's joined the president in line. Out of the, listen, listen, out of the 4,200 kilometers of road Cocoa Board have awarded at the tune of 15 billion, they haven't even paid a quarter of that. 15 billion. It's in this document, me, the press, you guys have it. You will tell me that between the time of the, uh, the May, last year and today, they've completed 6,000 kilometers. No. And even understand, the point is, the president talk about new road completed in his data is less than 100 kilometers. I will not be surprised if today they can prove that they've done 100 kilometers, 200 kilometers of new roads, but not 10,800 kilometers of new road. This argument is settled. If the government have got any data on 10,800 kilometers of new road, they should provide it, I'll resign as an MP. You listening to me? If government can have data 
on 10,800 kilometers of new road constructed, I will resign as an MP. Take it from me. But if it is also true that the government did not build 10,800 kilometers of road, the president should resign. With ranking member for the Roads and Highways Committee of Parliament, he says that the president uh, did not tell the truth by saying that they've com uh, completed over 10,000 kilometer new roads. Chairman of the uh, committee also addressed the media uh, earlier before Kwame Abuja's response, and he says the chairman has also joined the president in not telling Ghanaians the truth of the true state of our roads. Uh, we're trying to get the chairman of the committee and also get Parker Wilson, who is our man in parliament, to tell us more about the issues that have been raised by the chairman of the committee, to which Kwame Abuja has been responding to. But so that you may know, the president yesterday announced that government has uh, constructed over 10,000, in fact, he says 10,875 kilometers of new roads. And this has been the bone of contention. Ranking member Kwame Agoja says they've only done over 4,000 and not over 10,000 as it's being claimed by government. Do we have Parker Wilson on the line? Um, he'll be telling us more. Hello, Parker. All right, so let's go over to... Okay. Right, so just, just a while ago, the chairman of the... Uh, road committee in parliament, uh, Kennedy Osenya Akon, uh, held the press conference, of course addressed the media. And this was in response to what his ranking, Kwame Abuja, had stated yesterday, accusing the president of perhaps misleading the state or misleading uh, the country over the construction of some 10,000 kilometers of roads uh, since the inception of the NPP administration. According to Kwame Abuja, that was palpable falsehood. But the chairman of the committee says that is inaccurate. What the president said yesterday was actually accurate in that Kwame Abuja doesn't have the necessary information. He doesn't have the data to back his claim. Now, uh, Kennedy Osanyaku has been explaining to us this morning uh, that the, although the, 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 the data available to the committee, the information available to the committee was about four, the construction of 4,000 roads. That is true. However, what the committee or Kwame Abuja doesn't have is some roads constructed by Cocoa Board. So in effect, Cocoa Board has constructed more roads than the Ministry of Roads. And so the remainder, the over 6,000 roads that Kwame Abuja made reference to was actually constructed by Cocoa Board. And that wasn't captured in the data that was furnished uh, uh, with, with the committee. And so he does not have any more rights, any justification to accuse the president of misleading the country. And he has challenged Kwame Abuja to show proof of the, the missing word that he's claiming that the president hasn't done and yet he's taking credit for. So these are some of the information that uh, Kennedy Osanyako has been sharing with us. But I must say that shortly after that, Kwame Abuja also addressed us and also indicated that it is not true. Cocoa Board hasn't constructed uh, roads of about 6,000. That is never true. And he says that if it turns out indeed that uh, Cocoa Board didn't do that, then uh, the president should resign. But if indeed Cocoa Board shows proof of the fact that uh, since 2017, they have constructed about 6,000 roads, which is adding to the 4,000 roads that the Ministry of Roads is talking about. Then he, Kwame Abuja, will resign as an MP. So that is the challenge he's put himself. He's challenging Coco Board to show proof of the claims that uh, the, 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 the chairman of the committee is making. If that is not true, he is going to resign. If it is true, then the president of the state, who delivered a message on the state of the nation yesterday in the chamber, should also resign. So there has been the controversy, the war of words between the two, the ranking member on the Rules Committee and the chairman of the Rules Committee over the data or the actual number of roads that have been constructed under the Kufaro administration. What something that is unfolding. The whole state of the nation statement is uh, being, uh, they'll break it down. Parliament will start debating on it next week and we'll be bringing you all the updates on this one.